First up right now at 530, our exclusive series giving you a look inside Connecticut classrooms through the eyes of local teachers. Yes, our one-of-a-kind survey asked thousands of teachers 23 questions. And our focus tonight is how much they're spending of their own money on supplies. And this may surprise you. Yeah, we actually know a lot of them have said for years they spend their own money. Plus, how many have taken on second jobs to help pay the bills? Channel 3's Courtney Zeller is joining us right now with more on what they're spending and why some Courtney are apparently looking for another source of income, right? That's right. You know, some of these teachers spend hundreds of dollars because they need school supplies, items, so kids can learn. And these ongoing budget cuts or are, are a big reason why they have to spend their own money. A 23 question survey sent to 50,000 Connecticut public school teachers. 1,400 responded, giving us answers many people are surprised to hear. Teachers shed light on why they have second jobs and the amount of money they spend on their classrooms. I was not aware that they were doing that. Um, I find it surprising they do. That just means the state is not funding properly the education system. We asked teachers if they're provided with all the materials they needed for their classroom. Almost 58% said no. So we asked how much they're spending of their own money. The majority of teachers we surveyed, 53% are spending between $101 and $500 on classroom materials and supplies every year. 21% are spending more than that, up to $1,000. That seems like a lot. Um, I just can't see why they would spend so much money like that. You said 500 to 1,000 out of their own money a year? That's, that's a lot of money. I don't know what kind of salary they get, but you know, if they get a, you know, a decent salary, I guess it's okay, but that's a lot. I mean, that's a lot to put in of your own money. We ran into this Hartford preschool teacher who spends way more, and she isn't the only one. Almost 8% spend over $1,000 a year. How much do you spend on your classroom every year out of your own money? Uh, probably $2,000. Wow. What is she buying? The art supplies, like towards the end of the year, you start running low on paper, even uh, copy paper, uh, you know, crazy stuff like googly eyes, and then the science experiment. And according to the survey, 73% of teachers buy cleaning supplies, almost 70% buy school supplies, almost 60% buy personal hygiene products like tissues, and 59% buy books. I know they spend a lot. I think I heard that before. The we also asked if they have jobs in addition to teaching. 37% said yes. And the main reason for it, 33% say their salary isn't enough and they need extra money for living expenses. 29% say they have to pay for their children's expenses like college tuition, sports, or lessons. And almost 27% say they wanted to save extra money. It didn't surprise this teacher. Yeah, I mean, especially if you're not married. So, you know, I am married, so I have someone to help me kind of balance everything out. But if you're not, you have to live on that salary, you have to find the supplies. So a lot of people, yeah, they have weekend jobs. We sat down with Donald Williams, Connecticut Education Association's executive director, one of two unions we teamed up with for this survey. All of these should be supplied by the district for the students. All of these are really critical to learning and to safety of the kids in the classroom. The survey shows teachers with 20 years experience making $80,000 or more. But then there are those who make thirty dollars to $40,000 a year. Teaching is still a profession, despite how important we always say it is, that's not adequately compensated. Compensation needs to catch up with the importance of the profession. And tonight at 11, a panel of teachers talks about the most important things parents should take out of this survey. And tomorrow night at 530, one final topic to tackle. Should more of Connecticut local school systems be regionalized? Why some say no and others say yes. We will see you then. I'm Courtney Zeller, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, they're fascinating stories, Courtney. Thank you very much. Much more on our exclusive teacher survey posted right now.